Here's a look at the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season names from Andrea all the way down to Van and Wendy. Also, take a look at how these tropical systems form and how they become the most powerful storms on the planet. First, let's talk about a tropical disturbance. This is simply a discrete weather system with relatively organized thunderstorm activity throughout the tropics or subtropics. The National Hurricane Center will gather more data on this tropical system, and over time, it'll eventually be called an INVEST, which is short for investigation. If that tropical disturbance is expected to strengthen and poses the threat of bringing tropical storm or hurricane conditions to land within 48 hours, it'll be then labeled a potential tropical cyclone. A cyclone is a broad name given to any tropical system. When the National Hurricane Center identifies a PTC, tropical watches and warnings can be issued, along with any NHC advisories and forecast track information. From there, you're likely a little more familiar with the terms. A tropical depression is a tropical cyclone that has sustained winds of 38 miles per hour or less. A system becomes a tropical storm when wind speeds increase above 38 miles per hour. And at this point, it would be given a name. A storm then becomes a hurricane when wind speeds increase to 74 miles per hour. From there, the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale takes us through the different categories of a hurricane from one through five, with a category three and above being considered a major hurricane. 